see uh, this come up. And this just lets you know that it is a template. You want to use the template. So go ahead and click use template. And I want to share just the different parts of this particular template um, before we get started. So these are actually just three separate text elements um, that have and uh, it has an animation added to it. So right here where it says text here, it actually has a typewriter animation and you can click this and you can change it to whatever you want it to be, okay? So the ascend right now, this is what it is, a typewriter. But if you wanted to change it to ascend, you can um, change it to ascend, okay? So let's say we wanna change it to ascend. And then now I'm gonna click on the live. And again, this live also has a special effect. It has the neon effect to it. You can change it to glitch, splice, whatever it is that you wanna do. I just like the way the, the uh, neon looked. And again, you can change the colors to whatever neon color you may want it to be. Um, as you can see, the darker the color, the kind of more vivid it uh, shows, okay? And again, with these font, with these um, templates, you can change the font. Keep in mind that I am using the free version. So anywhere there is a crown, those are for uh, the pro versions, okay? But there's still so much that you can choose from um, just even with the free version, okay? So you can change your font and then you can resize it, whatever it is that you want to do. So I'm going to leave that there. And then this bottom text already has an effect on it. This is the glitch effect. But again, if we wanted to do it neon or none, shadow, you can go ahead and decide. You can even make it curved if you wanted to make it curved, okay? Don't forget, you can uh, customize and add um, backgrounds to these. And if you do a darker background, we'll just come up here. We will change the color of that text. And then over here is where you will just upload your logo or your image or whatever it is that you want to, um, to utilize. So let's say I wanna upload my little cartoon, which is right here. And then you just click on the image that you've uploaded, uh, drag and drop it down over and that is a, a frame is what that was so let's say you know you can resize your images however you want um if you notice the proportion isn't the same so like part of my arms are cut off because of the because of the size of that frame so if you don't want that to happen you can actually come back over here to elements and then go down here until frames and find the frame that you like. Let's say you wanna do a circle frame instead of this one. So I'm gonna just click delete, click delete again. And just grab the circle frame and resize it. Come back over here to my uploads, click on my image, drag and drop it onto the circle. And now you have a different frame that has more of the actual image. And again, you can still resize it. The other cool part is now, let's say you put, um, once you've got your text, however you want it to be, you click on more and actually, I think if you wanna add audio, that is a pro feature. So, well, let's see. Yeah, well, no, they do. They actually, they have some that are um, that are free. So if you come here, if you wanna do like instrumentals, apply filter, and then you have to look for the ones that are free. So there probably aren't very many. So let's actually, let's take the filters off and see like the happy birthday song. I, <laughs> okay, so that is, uh, let's see if I type in free. Nope, that doesn't help either. So you just kind of go through and look for one this video game blockbuster. Let's just say you wanted to use that one. 
all you would do is just click on it and it's automatically adding it to uh, your canvas. Okay, and this right now, the duration of this is just five seconds. So that's fine. And then the next thing that you would do is just go to share and you would download and you would download it as an MP4 because you want it to be that, uh, that video that's gonna play. And then once you download it as an MP4, save it to your um, smartphone or to your tablet. And then you are able to go ahead and upload that directly into um, your Instagram or your Facebook story. So how 